currently 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram total body weight per day as a sort of bottom level, right, a floor, up to about 3.1 grams of protein uh, per kilogram body weight per day. And so I think the, those, that range is still fine. And I think, you know, when you read our protein recommendations, we continue to harp on there are some individuals who will benefit from higher levels of protein intake, particularly people who are training very hard for a lot of volume or spending many hours per week training. Um, and if they're in a calorie deficit and if they're otherwise not eating a lot of high quality protein. And so those folks may benefit from slightly higher intakes. So with that in mind, let's kind of walk through the history of that 1.6 gram of protein per kilogram body weight per day number and kind of give some thoughts on it. Uh, the recommendation of 1.6 grams per kilo per day, uh, well, that comes from Morton's meta-analysis. I think it was published in 2017. It's often cited as evidence that protein intakes greater than that number, greater than 1.6 grams per kilo per day, did not further contribute to hypertrophy. And this was determined by plotting the change in fat-free mass gains against baseline protein intake. So a few caveats. One, fat-free mass is not the same thing as muscle mass. They're, you know, Fat-free mass is everything that's not fat. So yes, it includes skeletal muscle, but it also includes water, glycogen, bone, non-muscle, organ tissue, et cetera, right? So it's not just the same thing. Next, the 1.6 grams per kilo per day is the sort of was the break point that they the researchers came up with, and that sits between two confidence intervals, a lower confidence interval and a higher confidence interval. And so it is likely that the sort of, quote, optimal intake for hypertrophy is somewhere between these two confidence intervals. The lower end was 1.03 and the upper end was 2.2. So it is possible that a slightly lower or higher range could be useful, right? So that's just kind of, uh, you know, what the, what the data is saying. And the third problem that is not unique to this data set, but just nutritional studies in general, uh, it's difficult to assess protein intake in free living individuals. Dietary records are obtained by self-report and people are notoriously not good at uh, nutritional reporting, in this case, protein intake. So no surprise there. There's some squish in the data. But when people were generally asking, you know, hey, how much protein do I need in order to get the most out of my training? And we're thinking about the general public here. I still think that 1.6 grams per kilo per day is likely to be fine. 